So building AI agents is all the rage right now. And I have built AI automations for two years now, and I'm here to tell you that you can save your time and money. As a marketer, most of the time, you don't need to build AI agents. And let me show you why. So you have probably seen all of these really complicated N8N agents that are shared in LinkedIn and YouTube, and I have actually tried them out as well. And these are unnecessarily complicated, but take into account that my experience is non-technical. I am mostly focused on marketing use cases that drive the bottom line metrics. So practical workflows that actually work, not something cool that might work in two years. So this is my perspective on this topic. And why I think most of these really complicated AI agents, especially N8N ones, are overkill for marketers is that we need to do simple stuff. We need to create content mostly and post that content. And most of the quality of content doesn't come from AI. It comes from high value inputs, really good prompts and the good strategy that humans need to come up with, at least for now. And there's, of course, lots of admin stuff as well that we can automate. But again, for most of the stuff, you don't need an agent for that. But even if you find a use case for an agent instead of an automation, you don't need this really complicated NNN agent. You might need a really simple one that does almost the same stuff. So this is a screenshot from Lindy AI that I've been using, and it's way simpler to set it up. As I said, most of the time, even though I would love to build more agents, I'm still finding AI automations to be more valuable. So my my go-to tools are make.com and Airtable, just because uh, these are super visual, especially in make.com. As a non-techie, it's intuitive to use it. And I can either build these really complicated workflows or really simple ones. And with Airtable, this is where I keep all of the data. This is where I can trigger the automation to do the stuff that I want it to do. And I can store all of the outputs here as well. If you don't know about their table, definitely check it out. It's like Google Sheets, but on steroids. But let's go back to N8N because it's so popular right now. And I want to play devil's advocate as well. It is a good tool, but not for marketers, not for most use cases. It is good if you are a technical user and you understand all the technical logic behind it and how to troubleshoot if something goes wrong. For non-techie marketers, this is an overkill because the other tools are just so much simpler and do the same thing. A big plus of N8N is that you can do so much custom work. So if a company, for example, has built their own internal tools and you can't really find integrations for it, then N8N with the right technical minded implementer can make a lot of sense. And another big plus that everybody keeps mentioning is the fact that you can self host in it. And for some companies, for privacy reasons, that makes sense. And this is the only option. But overall, most of the other tools are also compliant in many ways. And when the self hosting is just a pricing thing, I don't think you're solving big enough problems. So I've been playing around with Lindy AI and I feel like this might change, but for now, I think this tool is going to the right direction. You can use really simple AI agents and workflows, although for automations, I would still use make.com and Airtable, but for agents, it's so natural to set it up. It's so easy. You can just prompt all of the instructions. You don't need to know anything technical. You can still choose the AI models that the agents are using. So you have some type of control, but you don't have to figure everything out. And they also have lots of templates that you can use out of the box. But the limitations are that it's a bit more pricey for the cheapest plan that gives you 5,000 credits. It's $50 per month. And those credits run out pretty quickly if you have several agents running. But again, if it saves you some critical time, you would otherwise waste on manual work. It's definitely worth it. So when you're thinking about building AI automations or AI agents, then uh, first think about your skills. Are you somewhat technical or you don't know anything about coding? That should be your first criteria when choosing the right tool for yourself. Also figure out what tools do you need to use? What tasks do you need to use? If these are a simple marketing support sales tasks that every other company has as well, you don't need any custom solutions, trust me. And also take into account your budget. But if you're working in house with a team and a product that's actually working, I don't think a monthly fee of an AI tool should be a problem. Of course, if you are solo just learning this stuff, then this is a bigger factor. So there are four critical questions that you have to ask yourself before you get started. First, do you already know how to do this task you want to automate or want an agent to handle? You have to know what a good output looks like in order to automate it successfully. The second one is you have to evaluate if the automation or the workflow actually saves you enough time or maybe setting up the automation or agents 
just creates more problems. You know, when you're prompting so much that you're thinking that I should have written this thing on my own. You don't want that to happen with automations either. So think about automating tasks that you're already doing regularly. Otherwise you're building something that you might not even use more than once or twice. The third one is that it always makes sense to evaluate different tools. Just because NADN looks complex and cool, trust me, the outputs are similar with those two-step Lindy agents. That's the beauty of AI. Things are getting simpler, not more complicated. And the fourth tip is, if you want to confidently learn these things and not waste your time, then join my private community, AIMarketingMasters.com, where I share lots of automation blueprints and Airtable templates as well that you can just copy and start using right away. I also have lots of prompts that I share and some resources and tips as well. So don't fall for the AI hype, but keep learning and building. I'll see you next week. Bye.